This video is a quick overview of Open On Demand on the Idun HPC cluster. Open On Demand provides a simple way to use Idun HPC cluster via a web browser. And it is available via VPN or from the university network. Use this link to login. Use your cluster username and password. First, I will show Open On Demand tools on the main page. Then I will quickly show these applications. In the clusters menu, Shell Terminal is available. It will start terminal on the apps server. Do you need a web terminal to compute node? Many of the applications that I will show later also have built-in terminal and it will be running on compute nodes. The files menu has quick links to the user's home or work directory. I will use home the Files menu provides access to the file system. You can change your location by clicking here. Simple actions are available here. The Simple Text Editor is also available to edit files. You can open the current directory in the terminal. The Jobs menu shows active jobs, your jobs or for all users. My interactive sessions or just this icon shows your application sessions started via Open On Demand. You can check the status, connect to your application session or delete the session. Applications are accessible from three places, main page, apps menu or interactive apps. The list of applications here is not final, more applications we can add later. We made two types of application. Simple applications are asking minimum questions to start. And they use the default number of CPU cores, default memory size and partition. Advanced applications are the same but with freedom to change job settings and it requires more experience on the cluster. First application desktop, it is the most versatile application. For example, MATLAB, Paraview, and PyCharm can start on the desktop. How many hours? You can also add your email address and mark that you want to receive emails notifications about your session status. Launch desktop, job in the queue, running. I can change the compression and image quality level to make the remote desktop more responsive. The desktop started on this compute node. Here is terminal and file manager. The same in the application menu. Text editor. This sidebar is for special options. Extra keys, clipboard. If you need to copy or paste text. You can run even more application from the terminal. Emacs. You can use modules to find and run other application. I'll show several examples. Let's find VMD. This is full name. Module load. Spider ID is included in the Anaconda module. Module avail Anaconda. Module load. Spider. Paraview, PyCharm, MATLAB. The desktop session will stay active even if I close the web page. Jupyter Notebook. Job in the queue, running, open, open terminal. It is running on this compute node. Create or open a notebook. MATLAB, choose the release version. MATLAB needs more time to start, waiting for ready status. I want to show how to manage a MATLAB window or multiple windows. If you minimize MATLAB window, you can use this sidebar extra keys. Alt, Tab, 
Alt again to select the minimized window. Do not leave extra keys pressed because it can change what buttons do. And if you close the main application, it will close the session and complete the job. Paraview release to hours launch R Studio. Run code to create a histogram. There is a terminal here. Use this button to quit and save the workspace properly. Tensorboard. Select path. I have some sample data. I got this chart. PyCharm. Again, closing the main application will cause the closure of the session. Visual Studio Code Server. Select some path. Yes, I trust. Dark theme. There is a terminal here also. Run and debug. I need a plugin for Python. Installing the Python plugin. Now I got the run button here. Matplotlib is not available in the default Python. I can edit folder settings and change the default path. I will use the path to the Anaconda 3. This code will create an image file. Done. And finally advanced applications. Advanced applications have more options, account, partition, how many cores, memory size, load additional modules, GPU type, and how many GPUs.